Well, hello, all my pretties, and welcome back to Witching Around with Leslie. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, as you can see, we are having a special guest, and the name is Elf Camo Powder Foundation. Um, the last time we tried a powder foundation, it was kind of a bust. So we are still on the lookout, and this is the one we're trying now. Before we get started, go ahead and like, subscribe, hit the bell, um, and drop me a comment. I would so much, I would so love to hear from you. Um, uh, hear your thoughts on this brand or just come tell me hello. I, I love to, I love to, uh, go back and forth with y'all and excuse, I have a little bit of a cold, so excuse some of the sniffles. Um, don't mind that any. And, um, I'm ready to get started. Are y'all? Yeah, I think so. So, um, I, my, my face is, uh, prepped and primed, ready to go. Uh, the main things I'm looking for is the coverage. Um, how long it lasts, if it creases or whatnot. Um, so yeah, we're, we're going to check this out right now and I will read you a little bit about it in a little bit too. Let's go ahead and get it open. Um, here it is. I am all about the affordability of e.l.f. I love e.l.f. Um, they just keep getting better and better for the most part. And I got my extra little sponge in case, just in case. And here it is. It comes with a little sponge right here. Um, I chose the uh, shade Medium 310. Right there, Medium 310. And hopefully it works. Um, this is... It looks a little dark, but we'll see. You never know. So let's get started. I'm ready, I'm ready. Hmm, so it does look a little dark. I don't know. Yeah, this color is a little dark for me. Um, well, it glides on good. So, so far the formula is pretty good, but I'm not too impressed by the shade. After I apply it, I will apply my regular makeup, some, a little bit of blush and such, and um, see how it, how it lasts. I'm going to go through my daily, do my daily stuff, you know, make dinner, stuff like that. See how well it holds up. Eat dinner. And then I will come back and report to y'all at the end of this video. Use with, uh, yeah, the shade is just not, is off. It's kind of orangey. Um, I'm not impressed with that. Um, I think they need better way to find, um, a, a better way to find a matching shade, in my opinion. I think this shade would be good for me to use during the summer because I go to the beach and go in the, in the sun a lot. But as for right now, the shade I'm not very happy with. Um, yeah, I'm not very happy with the shade at all. Um, but I'm going to continue putting on the rest of my uh, makeup and see how well it works. I mean, if this doesn't work, then I'm not going to go bother buying a, a lighter shade that I could wear on the daily or whatever. So um, I'm going to finish it. I'm, we're going to stick this out. We're going to finish. I'm going to go ahead and apply the rest of my makeup. Um, yeah, right at this point, it's about the formula now. I will not be using setting powder because I just, I don't feel like I should have to use setting powder if I'm using a powder already, you know? harder to see the blush with this dark color. I feel like I just went to the beach. <laughs> Got all sun-kissed. It feels 
good. It feels light. It's It was buildable. Um, I'm liking the formula much more than the other one. The other one was a little creamier. This is a powder. So, like, it just, it doesn't feel like a cream. It feels like a powder. It goes on like a powder. Um, so I am liking the formula. And I didn't have to use this one like I did last time. Um, and let's put on a little bit of lipstick and, you know, just for the full effect, for the full effect. Okay, so I have my full face on and um, I will be back uh, later on in the day to report my findings on what I think of, of how it wears, how well it stays, um, if it starts creasing or whatnot, and um, yeah, um, right now it is 2.43, so I will see you soon. Okay, so I'm back. It has um, been, right there you can see it's about 10.15, oh, it's been almost eight hours. So, um, I wanted to review a little bit about it. Um, it's the camo, it's an elf camo powder foundation. It runs for $11. They have 30 different colors to choose from. Um, let's see. It's, it's a primer infused pressed powder foundation that delivers buildable coverage and an airbrushed finish. Um, and why they love it. This is off of the, off of the website, directly off the website. It's primary infused long wear foundation formula. It's buildable formula offers medium to full coverage and semi matte finish. Okay, then that explains that it's not a full matte finish. It's semi matte, which is why I am experiencing a little bit of shine. I did not know that. I prefer matte because of my natural shine at times. Um, Creates an absorbed, even complexion, talc-free and non-comedogenic, available in a wider range of 30 shades, as I, as I mentioned, and pairs well with the rest of the camo makeup collection, which I haven't tried the rest of it yet. Um, finally, a primer-infused, long-lasting foundation that achieves an airbrush, non-cakey look, and stays put from first application to last call. This super buildable foundation powder invites you to layer on medium to full coverage for a blurred, even complexion that keeps shine at bay. Um, I did not experience it keeping my shine at bay. I mean, it is here. <laughs> the non-comedogenic pressed powder is light as air, create crease resistant, talc free, and creates a flawless natural finish on all skin types and tones. Choose from a wide range of 30 shades, as I mentioned, for all skin types. It is, um, it says all e.l.f. products are cruelty-free and vegan. I don't have much creasing on the eyes, which is good. I'm, I'm pleased about that. But, as it mentioned, it's not a full matte. So this didn't work for me. Um, I can see why it went viral. Um, because it, one, it's $11. And it does its job. It does what it says it does on the description. I I did not read that part of the description before trying about the um, semi-matte formula, so therefore, I mean, you're getting what you're you're getting what it said what it says it is, you know. So you can't I can't complain too much about that. Um, I was planning on going and buying my color, but after wearing it all day, I'm just I'm not going to. It, this isn't the right product for me personally. But I, for someone who's not oily and someone who likes the non-matte finish, it's perfect, um, I would say. So, um, I can't I can see why it went viral. It's affordable and it is decent quality. Um, and Elf is a good brand. Even, you know, even though it's a more affordable brand, it is good. So I can understand why it went viral, um, but it is not for me. So, um... If this is the kind of that's that's the kind of finish you like, then I would recommend it. If not, then I would find something else. But um, yeah, that is my take and my thoughts on this product on the Elf um, Camo Powder Foundation. So um, I hope you enjoyed my review, and I hope it has helped you to decide if this is a product that would be for you. Um, thank you so much for joining me. I hope everybody has a wonderful day. And stay safe. Love you. Bye.